A suspect turned to some a victim after a canine attack. This is a story 19 News continues to follow. At 4, we told you how the police chief now is actually recommending his officer be fired. Now at 6 o'clock, our Brittany Weir spoke to the victim's lawyer about how they plan to get justice. We do want to warn you, the video of this attack may be disturbing. The Canton Police Department is in hot water again after one of their own is on leave due to a use of force investigation. Now the chief is recommending that officer be terminated. A neighbor took this video of a Canton Police dog attacking a man. From the police body camera video, you can see the man is on the ground and not in handcuffs. The canine biting the suspect's arms for about 10 seconds before the officer pulls the dog away. You can tell by just watching what the dog was doing to him, the physical trauma in the areas that he had where he was bit and attacked by this dog, where the dog was just let loose on him. Ken Abarno, who represents Keevan Connor, the man attacked by the dog, says they want justice. And you can imagine what happens when you see that dog's face or head just shaking on him. The officer seen in this video is Nicholas Casto. He was placed on administrative leave per policy. Chief John Gabbard said he reviewed the incident and it is a clear violation of department policy and actions are not in line with our mission, our values or our training. We were encouraged by the level of accountability that the Canton Police Department is taking relative to the officer. It's the first step. The next step, according to the attorneys, should be charges against the officer. His actions, if done by an ordinary citizen, most likely would have warranted charges. We're wondering why no charges have been filed as of yet. According to Canton Police, there is a hearing for Officer Casto on June 21st with the safety director. Reporting, Brittany Weir, 19 News.